uh, today here we are having uh, we are moving with our human body and now we are going to look at what we call the male reproductive uh, system so this male reproductive system is made up of uh, various parts one it has the primary sex organs and then it, two, it has the accessory or the secondary sex organs and then it has <coughs> it has the glands and also it has what we call the ducts then uh, when you look at the primary sex organs here uh, they are two they are two in a number or they make what you call a pair and these ones are called the tests then when it is one it is called a test c but a test with i then when we use e then this one is the plural form of this then this um, uh, the pair of tests then we have the secondary the secondary organs and then we have the glands under the glands we have what we call the prostate gland we have the smallest glands here which we call the cowper's glands and again we have what we call uh, the cowper's glands and then we have what we call the semina, sema, semino uh, vesco uh, semino vescos uh, semino vesco glands then under the ducts we have what we call vast differentia a vas differentia it can it is also called the vas deferent a vas deferent or we can call these ones the sperm ducts then you have other accessories as in uh, what you call other um uh the 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 the, 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 the sexual genital which is the pens here Mm -hmm. and also we have what we call the scrotum so the male reproductive organ uh, system is made up of a primary sex organ those are the tests then the secondary organs are uh, like the pens the scrotum then the glands as in the prostate the semino or semino vescoes, then cowper's glands then we have the ducts as the vas differentia or the vas deferens or the sperm uh, ducts then let us start with our tests here uh, these tests are found outside so they are extra abdominal uh, from the previous session we said that uh, the primary sex organ in females uh, those are the ovaries are found uh, inside so they are found inside uh, the lower abdominal cavity in the pelvic region but the tests these ones are found outside so they are extra abdominal and again they are embedded in um, a pouch and this pouch is what we call uh, the scrotum so the reason as why these ones are found outside is that uh, the process of which you call the sperm, uh, spermatogenesis that is the production of sperms um, these sperms they are uh, to become functional uh, or to be produced and they become functional uh, they need a body temperature which is less by negative two degrees Celsius so um, the sperms are produced at a low at a lower body temperature at a uh, no, sorry at a temperature which is lower than that of the body by two degrees Celsius for example if it is a uh, 37 degrees Celsius for them are going to be produced at a temperature of 35 degrees if now the body is at 35 then they're going to be produced at a, bo a, a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius so the reason that's why these ones are dangling outside is that uh, the sperms are produced at a lower body temperature at a temperature lower than uh, that of the body then these ones are oval are uh, oval shaped in a number then they are 80 centimeters in length and also five centimeters in width so uh, if we take just like a rectangle they, they have to be with eight centimeters here w length then five centimeters width uh-huh then they are embedded in a, a pouch which we've called um a scrotum and then this scrotum uh, it is separated by there there are two of them then a pair we have this uh, test and this test here uh, so there are two then they're separated by um what we call the scrotal uh, septum then inside here they are attached onto the scrotum by uh, the muscles and these muscles are called the columnar albugina muscles then inside them inside this scrotum there is a fraud and now this fraud is called the hydrocell uh, this one is called the hydro uh, the hydrocell the fraud then when look at these tests they are not balancing they are not equal one is lower and another is above so the reason that's why one is above uh, or is below and another is above is that to prevent them from getting squeezed under uh, certain conditions so 
uh -huh, like that one and again these tests for them the process of spermatogenesis or the process of producing sperms uh, keeps these tests moving all the time so for them they don't rest they are moving and uh, they are actively moving within their patch uh, which we've called uh, the scrotum mm -hmm. so the work of the scrotum is to protect the what we call uh, the tests all right so uh, we are now going to take a look uh, of how we can put all these glands the ducts and other uh, sec uh, secondary uh, sex organs uh -huh. so let us get here another board uh, this board here mm -hmm. okay so we are now going to uh, to learn how to draw this so we are going to draw uh, they are um, uh, they are found in a scrotum so this is a scrotal sac then we can there are two we can get another one here but I'm going to use only one here so this one I've used uh, this is a test so I told you when this one is called a test with I then when there are very many we call them tests with the E so the difference is within uh, the spelling E plural I it's singular now the work of this test it is to produce uh, the male gamete and that male gamete is called the sperm and apart from producing that one it is also uh, there it is producing what we call the male a uh, sex hormone and that hormone produced by a test a test is called the testosterone it is test test testeron. so the testosterone we shall look at this one when we go to a hormone control uh, under this topic here so uh, this one is a test then uh, on this test it has um, another part on it and this and this roping a uh, rope here it's what we call the epididymis and uh, this one is called the epididymis so the importance of this epididymis is to store uh, the sperms after they have been uh, produced uh, then uh, this epidermis here on reaching here is now going to make a loop uh, so to make a loop that is to make a turn so it is an, a narrow tube so and uh, this is the it has made a rope so as it makes a rope so this rope which has been made here it is now what we are going to call the van the vast differentia a vast differential or the vast different or what you call the sperm duct so meaning that now from the epidermis here let me make this one thicker aside that we get to know uh, this one is the sperm store so it is called the epid what epididymis this is the test C. then this part here it is the epidermis then this one is the vast differential or the vast different the sperm duct then this uh, sperm duct is going to go um uh, until it reaches what we call the abdominal cavity inside there on reaching the abdominal cavity uh let me let me uh -huh. so let us let us make it clear okay mm -hmm. so this one is uh the sperm duct now uh this is our scrotal sac the scrotum then here we have also another scrotum but they are they are not far like this they're joined but i want us to just make this one clear now on reaching uh here in the abdominal cavity we are going to find there what we call the urinary bladder this one so this one becomes the urinary bladder remember uh, this one is storing urine so uh the urinary bladder it is connected to these tubes here and these tubes uh, are what you call the ureter then they're bringing urine within here then this urinary bladder is going now uh, to come down like this it's going to make another uh, 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 duct here and this one is what we call um, uh, the urethra so uh, this one is what we call the urethra now when this uh, sperm duct reaches here then it's, it's also going to make another rope uh, like this to make a rope it means it's going to bend as it bends then uh, nearer here it's going to make a small swelling then this small swelling is what we call the ampulla and uh, this one is called the ampulla then onto this ampulla here is now going to make uh, it's going to develop a gland and now this gland here is what we call the seminal vesco uh, this one is going to be called the seminal a vesco gland so it is there to produce the semen uh, which uh, which are going to nourish the sperms which is going to make 
other sperms are not so viscous uh -huh. then uh, oh, after that then it's going to continue then as it continues it's now going to connect to the urethra now as it connects to the, because even we have this one from another another sperm duct here then as they connect the urethra uh, we are now going to move down like this now this gland uh, where this um, uh, this sperm duct of vasodilatory is connecting to the urethra here is now going to be called a jugulatory gland a jugulatory gland so this one is called the ejaculatory gland why because now um the sperms here have now are made with the semen from the seminal uh, viscose now around here at, at this center here we have another uh, donut shape uh, gland and say a, a bigger one uh-huh so this gland here it is what we call the prostate gland mm -hmm. uh, this one is called the prostate gland and uh, then uh, here this urethra when now uh, at this junction then the sperms are going to come in then at the same time urine so at uh, this this is the urethra but now at this area here the urethra will be now carrying uh, both sperms and urine then it is called urino genito urino genito uh, duct oh yeah you know genital duct meaning that it can conduct both the urine at the same time at the sperms then uh -huh, it's now going to come up to here then we it is coming uh, at, at this level we are now going to get uh, the sex organ uh, this is what you call uh, the pen so in reaching is going to become a solen it is making the, the head then at this uh, end of this pen suite is starting from you have small glands and these small glands here we call them the caopas gland so we are calling them the caopas glands then this one becomes um the urethra then this is the sheath or the foreskin uh the sheath or the four the four skin here and then uh, this one uh, becomes uh, the pens which is used during the copulation all right so this one is this um uh, the, the the detailed diagram of the female oh, oh sorry of the male reproductive system so this is the scrotum inside the scrotum we have that fraud which we called the hyrocell then this is the testis epidermis then uh, this is the van different then this is the caupas gland uh -huh. Kaupa, sorry sorry the seminovesco gland then this is the urinary bladder ureters then this is the prostate gland uh, at this junction this swelling is the ampulla then this is and the chiratole gland then this is the penis the sheath uh, or the foreskin and then these are the kaupazi uh, gland so practice drawing um uh, this uh, diagram uh, in the notes given in the link there okay question number one Name the sac. Name the sac or the pouch that protects the tests. Mm -hmm. Number two. Why are tests useful to a gorilla? Number three. I state that similarity. State the similarity between a sperm and an ovum. Number number four. Define the term fertilization. Number five, how useful is a scrotum to a baboon? Number six, state the role played by the pens during reproduction. mechanism or process 
number number seven what is a sexual reproduction number eight draw and label the parts of a male reproductive system number nine how useful are the following parts of a female reproductive system one vagina two uterus three cervix so you've been a good learner we meet in the lesson 17.